Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, a bit of a mixed bag this time. Uh, I've broken one of my original rules which was to try and keep each video on a separate project but uh, it hasn't really worked out uh, in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'll turn the camera around and show you what I've been up to. First then we have this a regiment of French Seven Years' War horse. This is the Vaugouet Regiment um, and is part of my Minden 1759 project. Um, these are all glory figures uh, and I wasn't happy about the lack of coattails on the uh, troopers. Um, the officers, that is the standard bearer, the bugler and the officer figure have full coats uh, but the troopers seem to be missing the tails on their coats. So it, it got to me in the end and I decided I'd try to uh, model the coat tails in green stuff. Um, and it worked reasonably well. Uh, so, and this is how they've come out. I'll give these a twist. And you can see. Now, for Goué, uh, the main distinctions were in the saddlecloths, uh, which were blue, and then there was uh, a lace around the edge, which was green, red, green. But the red stripe was quite narrow and not really visible, so I haven't tried to recreate that. I've put all the troopers on bays, although I've made them slightly different colours so that they don't look all the same. I think that makes the unit look uh, a bit better. Um, Overall, I'm quite pleased with the way they've come out. Um, and this is... Oh, there's a bit of dust on there. Right, so I've got two more regiments of French cavalry to complete for the first line, the front line of the uh, left and centre uh, formations at Minden. So I've got uh, another two squadron regiment of horse and a three squadron regiment of horse to complete. I'm also short of uh, a number of battalions from the first line. So uh, three for Aquitaine and three from Condé. Uh, after that I'll have to look to add some Saxons uh, and then a fair few more horse uh, for the central command. So that's the first unit that I've completed in the week. I'll just uh, change the camera around and show you the second that's been completed. Here we have the 2nd Battalion of Infantry Regiment 61, St. Julien. Um, I've previously done the 1st Battalion and there's a 3rd to make up this regiment. This is my 10mm 8009 project and it's a bit slower than I would like. I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to uh, get on top of. Partly because the next unit I've got set up to paint is uh, Huzai unit. Um, I know once I start painting it, it'll go reasonably quickly, but just the barrier of picking the paintbrush up and starting is causing me a little bit of uh, uncertainty at the moment. Um, the infantry is moving on quite well. I quite like the way they're coming out. The blue of the Hungarian trousers really kind of stands out. Um, 
But I think I've got to accept this project's going to take longer to complete than I would like. Um, so there you go. That is the second battalion of Infantry Regiment 61, San Julian. Now, I'm going to move on to the third thing that I've been doing this week. Um, and I'll again turn the camera off and then show you what that is. Well, this is the third thing that I've been painting this week and uh, it's a bit of a surprise to me. I hold uh, Gavin Booth partially responsible for this. I was watching one of his videos and he was doing an unboxing, unbagging of some Avon Post miniatures, metal, metal French figures, and I thought they looked really good. And when I went onto the Avon Post website, they do look, indeed look tremendous. So I thought, well, perhaps I could try and do a 28mm French figure. Uh, and this was uh, in the pile. So I got him out and started to paint him. I think this is an old foundry figure. Um, one of their elite company characters, I suppose. Um, and on the whole, he's not too difficult to paint. Uh, I had problems with a couple of things. The lace on his arms, um, the moulding isn't crisp enough, isn't precise enough to see exactly where some of the, the lace goes, so you're on your own really. Um, it came out okay on one arm, the other arm is a little less impressive. The second thing that uh, I wasn't 100% happy with were, were his eyes. I've never been one to try and paint eyes. Um, so I've, what I've done here is I've painted his faces with the uh, with those lids, um, but it doesn't quite look right, I don't think. And the third thing that didn't quite work for me was I tried to do some variation in the whites. Um, his apron, the drummer's apron, is in a cream white. His uh, trousers and waistcoat are in a kind of like a grey white. And uh, the strapping and the gaiters were in a little bit more uh, pure white. And I think the differences are, are too subtle to really stand out. So I'm going to have to think about um, how I approach that for these bigger figures. Uh, I've been on the Avon Post site several times and put stuff in the basket, but as yet I've not completed the order. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I think about this. Uh, they are lovely figures. Oh, I've just seen something that's not finished. I haven't done the buckles on those straps on the on the backpack. Hmm. I have to go and do that. Right. So. Quite pleased with him. Uh, learned quite a lot, but I'm not sure what he's going to be part of. Anyway, I'll add a few stills at the end of this video so that you can have a better look at some of these things. Um, and I'll sign off there, so thank you very much for watching again. I hope you join me again next time. Keep safe and uh, keep painting. <laughs>